Welcome everybody to UB Stadium in Buffalo, New York as Eastern Michigan is back on the road trying to continue their undefeated season. They are 4-0 coming off of their opening conference win over Ball State. So Buffalo takes over at their own 25 after the touchback. And the first pass of the game is going to be completed to Mason Trek. The tight end to the left side of the field. Hurry up offense for Buffalo. Buffalo's two and two on this young season. Shotgun formation running back to his right. Here's the snap. Rohawk tries to get out of the pocket, but he's going to end up being brought down by Derek Dunlap with the sack. That brings up a second and long. It is second and 14 for the Bulls. Here's the snap, it throws off the left, it's Shrek again. And he's got big yardage, he breaks the tackle, he's inside the 30 before he's finally shoved out of bounds. Now in motion goes the fullback, Rohatch takes the snap and he's gonna hand it off to the running back, Johnson, who gets to the outside and picks up six yards. Nice pickup on that play on first down. Back to the line, they come again. I formation, Rojas gonna give it to Jordan Johnson again. Jordan Johnson has a hole, he's inside the five, right into the end zone for a touchdown, Buffalo. And just like that, Buffalo takes a six point lead with an impressive opening drive to start this game. Eagles coming off of a bye week after their win at Ball State to open up conference play. Here they are in Buffalo, down seven early. First play of the game is going to be a draw play to Shaq Van, who gets absolutely nothing on the play. Second and ten now, Roback in the shotgun, Van to his left. Roback will take the snap, and he's going to throw it. He's going to go over the middle, but he's hit as he throws, and that ball had no chance. That makes it third down, Roback with the snap. He's going to toss it out to Shaq Van on the screen. He gets one block and tries to get through the defense to pick up the first, but he gets taken down. Buffalo takes over now on their own 34, trying to add to their early lead. They're going to give it to Jordan Johnson, who had the touchdown run. This time he goes right up the middle and picks up three. So it's third and seven. I believe the first third down that the Buffalo offense has faced. Rohash takes a snap. He's got plenty of time and a wide open man. It's Mason Shrek again. And that's another big play for the tight end Shrek and another big first down. Now the Bulls hurry back to the line. Now at the Eagles 35. Rohatch takes the snap. He's going to dump it off to Mason Shrek who breaks the tackle and ends up being wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. Rohatch with the ball and he tries to scramble with it but he's going to end up being sacked on the play. It's Adi Granger who brings him down. Speaking of quarterbacks going down, we have terrible news. Brogan Roback, the Eastern Michigan senior quarterback, is out for the game after just one drive with a concussion. Here on third and seven, Rohatch goes deep into the end zone. It's going to be picked off by Beck. Beck's got it now past the 20-25 and pushed out of bounds near the 27-yard line. Big turnover there for the Eagles defense. Now in the game at quarterback, relieving the injured Brogan Roback is Todd Porter, the senior quarterback. We saw him last game at Ball State come in after Roback left with an injury. He completed five of six, five of eight passes for 66 yards and an interception. Now down seven, they're going to need a lot more from him in this game and for a longer duration of time as on the first play that they go up the middle for a gain of three with Shaq Van. Not an ideal start for the Eagles, down seven early and without their starting senior quarterback. The defense answered with a turnover, and now Todd Porter, the backup quarterback, is trying to answer with a scoring drive here. On second and seven, he drops back, he throws over the middle, and that one was actually caught by Antoine Porter, but dropped. Nice coverage on the play by the Bulls. So now it's third and seven from the 30 yard line. Porter takes the snap. He's gonna throw it across the field to Johnny Miapalu who streaks across towards the sideline and picks up the first down. Nice 12 yard gain. Porter's now two for three on the game. It's, he apparently was in for that screen play on the last possession on third down. Here's first and 10 now from the 41 yard line. Porter takes the snap, drops back. He's going to throw it towards the sideline. This one's brought in by Neapalu again, who turns up field and breaks the tackle and picks up nice yardage into Buffalo territory. 
First down play for the Eagles. Robinson goes in motion to the left. Porter's going to fake the give to Van, and now he's going to throw across the field, and it's hauled in by Dan Bushman. What a pass by Todd Porter. Laid it in very nicely where only Bushman can make the catch. So far, so good on this drive for the backup quarterback. On first down, it's going to be a read option, and Porter keeps it, and he's only going to pick up a couple. Second and eight, just inside Buffalo's 30. The I formation, Porter with the give to Van. He's got the right side. He gets around the edge, and he falls forward and picks up the first down inside the 20. First down, Eagles at the 19. Two tight ends in the formation. Make it three, two on the right, one on the left. One wide receiver out left, Shaq Van the single back. Porter takes the snap, he drops back. He's got pressure, he's gonna have to evade the pressure. Scrambles backwards and just throws it away. Eagles are in the pistol now. Porter with the snap, he gives it to Ian Erickson who gets around the edge and meets a man and shakes him off and is able to pick up three. It's now third and seven from the 16 for Todd Porter and the Eagles. Porter takes the snap, he drops back. He's got nowhere to go with it, and he gets sacked for a loss of nine on the play by Chris Ford. Porter just did not have anybody open, and it was too little too late to throw that one away. On for the 42-yard attempt now is the Eagles special teams, and Fracano has the kick up and perfectly good right down the middle. That makes this one 7-3 here nearing the end of the first quarter in Buffalo. This one's going to be returned by Ross. He's out across the 20 and makes a nice move to get out to the 30-yard line. So Buffalo went up seven early. Eagles were able to intercept the ball right at the goal line on the, Buff on the Bulls' next possession and turn it into three points. How do the Bulls respond? Quick pass out to the right to Shrek, who's just having a great first quarter. That's his fifth catch, and he has 84 yards already. After an incomplete pass, it's going to be third and eight now from the 32 for the Bulls. In motion goes the receiver. Robach with plenty of time is just going to dump it off to the left to Jordan Johnson who gets pushed out of bounds shy of the marker by a good five yards. So a interception on the last defensive possession and now a three and out. As Brogan Roback has left the game, the Eagles defense has stepped it up after that first drive against them. Bailey's going to return this punt. He makes a nice spin move to get through traffic and he's now near midfield. He's going to be pulled down at about the 47 of the Eagles. So that will bring us... To the end of the first quarter, Buffalo is on top of Eastern Michigan, 7-3. Todd Porter and the Eagles will take over with good field position, trying to take the lead. Eagles are in the pistol for the first play of the second quarter, and it's going to be a draw play to Shaq Van, who picks up four up the middle. Second and six, right at midfield. Two wide receivers out to the left. Porter with the fake to Van. He's got time, and no, he doesn't. He's going to be brought down for another sack. This one at the hands of Brandon Crawford. Right as he was about to throw this one downfield, it looked like maybe to Antoine Porter. He gets brought down, and that's going to bring up a third and very long. Third and 17. It's going to be an uphill climb today for the Eagles' offense without Brogan Roback. Porter takes the snap. He's going to scramble out to the right, and he's just going to air this one downfield, but he gets hit from behind once again as he releases it. And that ball had no chance of getting downfield to the intended target. Eagles defense has been good the last two possessions after allowing an easy touchdown drive on the first. But it seems like the more and more the, that they'll be put out on this field, the more tired they'll get, especially against this hurry-up offense. As on first down, Rohach gets a pass out to the left side to Malcolm Robinson, who is wide open for 18 yards. So this Eagles defense going to try and hang in there and give Todd Porter a chance to score some points for the offense. It's first down now near the 45-yard line of Buffalo. They give it to Jordan Johnson, who breaks the tackle and picks up five. Rohach is going to give it to Johnson again up the middle. He has to break it outside, and he gets dragged down just shy of the marker. It's going to be third and one. Out the 48-yard line, the third down carry is Jordan Johnson. He tries to get to the edge, and he will power through and pick up the first right at the 50-yard line. Hurry up, smash mouth football here on this drive for the Bulls. Trying to wear down this Eagles defense with their offense in all sorts of trouble early on. It's the eye formation for the Bulls. Rohatch will take the snap and he's going to fake the give to Johnson. He's going to pass it out to the left to Mason Shrek once again with another big reception. He's down near the 25-yard line of the Eagles. Well, so far, if I had a vote, Mason Shrek is my player of the game. The tight end for the Bulls has just been tearing up these Eagles linebackers. Johnson takes the give on first down and picks up four up the gut. Bulls finally huddle up on this drive for the first time as they are now at second and six 
at about the 22 yard line. Rohach takes the snap, he's gonna throw it out underneath to Hawkins who has room, breaks the tackle and gets dragged down just shy of the goal line. Jonathan Hawkins, I believe that's the backup running back, came out of the backfield and was wide open on the right side of the field. That's now first and goal from the one as the Bulls rush back to the line. And now it's gonna be a handoff to Hawkins who walks in for a Buffalo touchdown. That drive for the Bulls looked a lot like their first and now the Eagles' worries have grown a bit here as Sergio Bailey gets a nice return out to the 40 yard line. We take a look here, not a lot going on for the Eagles offense after three possessions, 15 yards on four carries for Shaq Van. That will need to change in a big way if the Eagles come back in this one. They take over from their own 39 here as they're gonna give it to Shaq Van up the middle. He's got nowhere to go, but he still manages to pick up five. So a nice effort run there for Van. Without Brogan Roback, Shaq Van needs to step up because the Eagles are gonna have to lean on him if they want productive drives here today. They're gonna give it to him again and just no blocking, but he manages to get by a couple tacklers and fights forward and picks up a first down. Great run by Van. Todd Porter has made some good throws, but you know if this offense is going to be successful, it's going to be on the shoulders of Shaq Van in this sort of situation without Brogan Roback, as we saw on that last play. Now on first down, they're going to give it back to Van. He cuts to the outside and is going to be wrapped up after a gain of six. So three straight, very productive runs for Shaq Van. It brings up second and four from the Buffalo Bulls 44 yard line. Porter with Erickson behind him. Robinson goes in motion to the left. He's going to give it to Erickson. It's going to be a fake to Erickson and he's going to rifle one to the left side of the field right at the sidelines. It's caught by Antoine Porter at the 20. Great route by Antoine Porter. Nobody was on him after three straight runs in the play action. The Bulls defense laxes in coverage and Porter makes a nice grab at the sideline. Had Todd Porter seen him sooner, it might have been a touchdown. It's first down now at the 20. Kilby goes in motion to the right. Shaq Van the lone setback, and he's going to get the handoff right side. Cut it back up towards the middle and picks up seven on first down. Eagles had a pretty nice drive on their last possession. Even better one going here, this time trying to get more than a field goal. As they are now at the 12-yard line for second and three in the pistol. Porter's going to hand it off to Van, and he's going to be wrapped up just shy of the first down line to gain. So now it's third and maybe a half yard from the 10. Eagles in the goal line formation, which they don't bust out very often. Huge third down here. Eagles are one for four on third. They need a touchdown on this drive, it feels like. And they're gonna give it to the fullback, Robinson, who's up the middle and picks up the first. Inside the 10, down to the seven. Eagles with a very efficient drive here, trying to eat up clock to not allow Buffalo to add more points before the end of the half. First and goal is going to be a handoff to Van up the middle. Picks up five down to the two. Second and goal from the two now. Van the lone setback. He will be given the ball once again, and he's going to fight and reach his way forward. Gets the ball across the pylon and is in the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. Make it 14 to 10 here near the end of the first half. Bulls will take over at their own 25 following the touchback, trying to add at least three before the end of the half. Buffalo gets the ball back to start the second half as well. So points here would be huge for the Bulls. The Eagles defense trying to step up and stop them again after allowing two easy touchdown drives in this game. Their last one and the first one of the game. Sandwiched between them though were two very Promising defensive efforts. Second and eight, Bulls are back to the line now after a two yard pickup on first down. Rohach has three wide receivers bunched to his right. Single setback, Jordan Johnson behind him. One wide receiver out to his left. Looks like the Bulls are gonna be content with a four point lead though as they're taking all the time in the world to snap this football. Rohatch takes it, they are throwing though. He's got plenty of time, but he's gonna try and tuck it and run. He's gonna end up being brought down for a sack. I believe that's the third sack of the day for the Eagles defense. This one by Derek Williams. And that will bring us to the end of the first half. Brogan Roback goes down in the very first possession. But the Eagles are hanging in there on the road here in Buffalo. They are down 14 to 10 at half. My apologies, the Eagles actually received the football to start the second half. And Sergio Bailey will go right up the gut and pick up about 22 on the return. Get it set out across the 30 or near the 30 rather. 
from the last drive that the Eagles had, their first touchdown drive of the day, they ran it down the throat of the Bulls' defense with Shaq Van. It'll be interesting to see their approach here on this drive to start the second half. First play is going to be a pass play over the middle, and that one's caught by Antoine Porter for exactly enough for the first. Porter 6 for 9 for 81 yards on the day. First down now from the 37-yard line. Pistol formation is going to be Shaq Van who can't get to the outside. He's going to end up losing three on the play, brought down by Brandon Barry on the play. One thing the Eagles cannot afford is negative plays, and they had one there. Porter takes the snap in the shotgun. He's going to dump it underneath to Johnny Neapalu, who picks up 10 yards. It's going to bring up a very manageable third and three. Three tight end set. Neapalu is in as a tight end, and he motions from the left side to the right to be a slot receiver. Third and three. They're going to give it to Shaq Van right up the middle. He saw a hole, but it closed just as soon as it opened, and it's going to be a fourth down situation for the Eagles. The Eagles defense going to have to make a couple of stops here in the second half if the Eagles want to win this one. They were down 14-3 to three at one point. First down play is a quick pass to Jordan Johnson who meets a man in the backfield, breaks the tackle, and is able to bust it out to the outside for 20 yards at midfield. He's finally brought down. At the 40, he's finally brought down, I should say, as they both rush back to the line now. Single back formation. McGill's the wide receiver to the right in motion. It And now the step by Rojas. He's got a man open. It's Mason Shrek who breaks the tackle at the 40, down inside the 30-yard line before he's finally brought down. Who would have known? Mason Shrek with yet another big catch. That's his eighth of the day. He's over 140 yards here after just three plays into the third quarter for the Bulls offense. Rohaj back to the line, takes a quick snap over the middle, it's Shrek again inside the 10 down to the 7. Mason Shrek and Grant Rohaj have just been having a field day with this Eagles defense. It's first and goal, Bulls from the 7 now. Rohaj fakes to give to Johnson, he's got all day to throw, he's going to end up scrambling up the middle, touchdown Bulls. And now the Eagles are in big trouble down 20 to 10. And about to be 21 to 10 after the extra point, which was up and good. Something needs to happen. Sergio Bailey can make it happen on special teams. We've seen it before, and now we might see it again down the sideline. Sergio Bailey is met at the 50 and shoved out of bounds. Nice return. Seemingly now or never now for the Eagles offense. First play is going to be blown up. Another sack for the Bulls defense. Luckily for the Eagles offense, it was not a big loss. Second and 12 now. Porter takes the snap from the shotgun. He's going to rifle one to the left. It's Sergio Bailey on a curl. Welcome to the game in terms of receiving for Sergio Bailey, his first target of the day. He hauls it in for 14 yards and a first down. From the Bulls, 38 now. It's first down for the Eagles. They're going to give it to Shaq Van, who's got nowhere to go on the right side. Second down now. Porter takes the snap. He's going to dump it off underneath to Dan Bushman, the tight end who breaks the tackle and picks up six. Third and four from the 33. Porter with the snap. He's going to rifle it underneath to Antoine Porter, who makes the catch and picks up the first inside the 25. Big conversion there. Ian Erickson now the running back in the backfield. Three wide receivers bunched to the right. Robinson's going to go in motion to the left. And the snap's going to be to Ian Erickson on a toss who makes a nice cut to the right and picks up six. It's going to set up third and two now. Another third down coming up. You have to wonder if this is four down territory for the Eagles offense, even though a field goal would technically make it a one score game. It's third and two. Shotgun formation. Van this running back to Porter's left. Snap to Porter. It's going to be a read option. He's got room up the middle. He's going to die for the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. What a play there for the Eagles offense. And Todd Porter makes the right decision on the option and had open running room right up the gut. It's not as fast as Brogan Roback, but when you have that much room, it doesn't matter. He looks like Brogan Roback on that one. And the Eagles are right back in this one. So the Eagles offense with a great drive to get the Eagles back to within four. Can the defense step up once again and come up with a stop? Johnson will take the draw play, and he stiff arms a man and picks up 11 in a first down. As has been the case all day, Bowles back to the line in a hurry. Another handoff to Johnson. He gets to the left side. He makes a man miss, and he beats the one, or tries to beat the one man standing in between him and the end zone. 
but he ends up being brought down but yet another first down carry for Jordan Johnson. Vince Calhoun brought him down. The safety was the last chance for the Eagles. But that's two plays, two first downs for the Bulls and make it three plays, three first downs as guess who? Mason Shrek makes the catch over the middle, picks up 13 inside Eagles territory. First down from the 10, shotgun formation for the Bulls. Rojas takes the snap, he's gonna fire it over the middle to Mason Shrek once again, down to the 21 yard line, 19 yard pickup. I don't know what the Eagles are doing, but they gotta change it because Mason Shrek is just running loose over the middle of the field today. Rohach takes the snap on first. He's gonna dump it off, try to get it to Mason Shrek. This time he's well covered and had no chance to haul that one in with Calhoun draped all over him. Don't wanna double team a tight end because it sets up a lot of other men to be opening, but at, but at this rate, let him beat you with somebody else. This time it's Taylor Marby, the back, Mabry, the backup tight end who hauls that one in and it's gonna set up a big third down for the Bulls. Third and six from the 17. Bulls, two wide receivers bunch to the right, two running backs in the backfield. Rojas takes a snap, drops back over to the right side. Is McGill wide open? Touchdown, Bulls. Marcus McGill with a nice route, nice play call for the Bulls. With losing Brogan Roback, the one thing the Eagles could not afford was a shootout, and that's what this game has become. They're now down 11 once again. As they take over from the 25 and a half, it's going to be a play action to Van. Porter's got room. He's going to rip one out it's going to be hauled in by Sergio Bailey and it's going to be caught near the 21 yard line huge play there for the Eagles actually it looked like Porter under threw this one again a bit but it worked to his advantage as the safety just kept running Sergio Bailey did a nice job locating the football turning around and making the catch easily the biggest offensive play of the day for the Eagles have set them up with the first and goal from the 21 trying to keep pace with Buffalo and what has turned into a barn burner here is Van takes this one on a draw it gets hit very hard almost propelled to the air picks up good yardage let's see what the call is there's also going to be a face mask on the play so the Eagles are now going to be set up nicely with a first and goal from the seven Eagles trying to answer very quickly with another touchdown here it's going to be another option this time is a triple option and Porter fakes to give the Van and ends up pitching it to Erickson at the last moment Touchdown, Eagles to the left side, goes Ian Erickson for a seven yard run. And once again, the Eagles are within four. I don't care who your quarterback is, the triple option is very hard to defend and you saw why there. Is now on the return, Slack makes a nice move and gets out to near the 30. So we look at this, the Bulls have almost 100 more yards and two extra first downs, but the Eagles have been doing a pretty good job with Todd Porter in at quarterback trying to keep pace. Can the defense finally get another stop here for the Eagles offense to give them a chance to take the lead for once? First play of this drive is going to go up the middle to Jordan Johnson. He only picks up two. And that will bring us to the end of the third quarter. Eagles fighting and clawing their way to stay into this one. They are down 24 to 28 here at the end of three in Buffalo. It's second and eight for the Bulls to start the third quarter. Rohatch drops back. He's going to end up scrambling. He's going to be brought down shy of the first down. After a four-yard pickup, it's going to bring up third and four. A huge play here for the Eagles' defense. Can they get off the field? Third and four from the 34. In motion goes Shrek to the right. Rohatch takes the snap, and he's going to throw this one away. As the Eagles had immediate pressure on the quarterback right off the snap. First down Eagles for what is the biggest offensive possession of the game. It's going to be an option play again and this time Porter keeps it and he goes to the right side and doesn't slide, tries to grab every yard he can and ends up with seven. Second down and three at about the 49 of Eastern Michigan. It's going to be a draw play to Shaq Van who goes to the left side, breaks a bunch of tackles and picks up 10 inside Buffalo's 45. Down to the 40 are the Eagles here for first down now. Porter with the snap is going to throw this time, and he's not going to have any time. He's going to be brought down for a sack, and that one is huge. Brandon Berry is in the backfield to bring up Porter just as soon as he started his drop back, it seems. Just inside Buffalo territory now. It's second and 17. Robinson goes in motion. Porter with the fake handoff to Van. He's got time. He's going to 
try and air it out, but he gets hit before he could throw. He had time, but took just a little too much of it and gets hit once again right before he releases the football. So it's third and 17. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Van is in the backfield, Bushman the tight end. This play is going to be over the middle. It's caught by Bailey. He's got room. He makes his way past the first down marker and fights forward down near the 20-yard line. Huge play there for the Eagles. Sergio Bailey, only his third catch of the game, but that one was humongous, just like his last one. From third and 17 from the 47 to first and 10 from the 20. The Eagles now with the eye formation handoff. Shaq Van up the middle, picks up four. Second and six from the 17. Porter with this drop back. He's going to have to scramble out to his right. He's going to end up throwing this one away. Nowhere to go downfield with that one. It's going to bring up third and six. Every play seemingly more important than the last as the clock gets Closer and closer to zeros here. The Eagles finally have a chance to try and take their first lead of the game. Third and six. Porter fakes to give the van. And he's got nowhere to go with this one. He's just going to heave it out of the back of the end zone before falling victim to yet another sack. The Eagles are going to line up for a field goal on fourth and six to get within one point. I guess the thinking here is that if the Bulls do manage another touchdown, you are still only down one possession. But more often than not, the Bulls offense has had its way with the Eagles defense. So a pretty big gamble for Coach Charlie Batch to kick the field goal there. We'll see how it pays off. It'll be interesting to see what the Bulls offensive approach is as well. The no huddle offense has worked well for them. But you would like to eat a lot of clock on this drive if you can. Rohatch takes the first down ball and he's going to be handing it off on a delay to Jordan Johnson who picks up four on the left side. The Bulls do hurry back to the line. No huddle offense still late in this one. And they snap it quickly as well. Rohatch takes the snap. He tries to scramble. He ends up getting sacked on the play. It was Adi Granger with his second sack of the day. It's now third and seven suddenly. So maybe it was a good idea to kick the field goal if the Eagles can get a stop here. Rohatch takes a snap. He's got time. He puts it off to the left, and it's going to be caught by Jordan Johnson, and he's brought down shy of the first down marker by Ike Spearman. And the Eagles' defense comes up huge with a three and out. It's now fourth and two. And the Eagles are going to get this ball back with under four minutes to go, down just one point. Let's see where Sergio Bailey will set him up. He takes it, he makes a move, breaks the tackle, he's across the 50, 45, 40, he's down the sideline, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, wrestled out of bounds at the 7 yard line is Sergio Bailey. We've seen Sergio Bailey make play after play after play all season long, and what a punt return here. Eagles with 3.43 to go are 7 yards away from taking their first lead of the day. First down rush to Shaq Van is going nowhere but there's a face mask on the play that's going to set the Eagles up with another first and goal this time at about the three and a half yard line. Believe it or not it looks like the Eagles are primed to take their first lead of the day whether it's a touchdown or a field goal. Looks like it's going to be the only thing left to be determined. It's first and goal from the three. Clock ticking down to 325 to go. Porter hands it off to Van who's going to only get a yard but this might actually help the Eagles as more time continues to click off the clock. Eagles come to the line, second and goal from the one and a half in the pistol. Van behind Porter. I don't think there's any way you throw this football in this situation. Here's the snap. Porter's going to give it to Van. He's got a hole. He's got a touchdown. Eagles in the first late of the day for Eastern Michigan. They go up 33-28 to on the Shaq Van run set up by the Sergio Bailey punt return. With 2.44 to go. The Eagles are going to go for two to try to go up seven. Here's the snap. Porter. Not a lot of time. He's going to have to scramble left. Now he fires at the end zone, and he tried to get it in to Sergio Bailey, but it's knocked away by Ishmael Hargrove. But the Eagles, for the first time in this game, have the lead. It's a five-point lead, so if the Bulls want to win this game, they're going to have to go the length of the field after this touchback. With 2.44 to go, plenty of time. We've seen him score quickly in this one, multiple times. What a comeback, multiple comebacks for the Eagles. We've seen them down 11 a couple times. We've seen them down 
11 actually three times, I believe, and all three times they brought it to within four, and then they brought it to within one, and now they have a five-point lead with 2.44 to go. Nobody in the backfield for the Bulls. Rohatch takes the snap. He's going to scramble up the middle on first down. Looks like he should have been sacked, but instead he gets 12 yards on the play. He's now out to the Bulls' 37-yard line. Hurry up offense in effect. Plenty of time for the Bulls. Rohatch takes the snap. It's going to be a fumble on the play. It's going to be picked up by Granger. And Granger picks it up for the Eagles. And the Eagles take over. What a change of momentum in this one. Let's see if we can find out what happened here. Rohatch takes the snap. And he tries to just... It's a quick screen. It's a quick screen for Jordan Johnson. And for whatever reason, the ball just slipped out of his hands, and they're calling it a fumble. It was picked up by Adi Granger, and suddenly the Eagles now have the ball back at the Bulls 32 with a five-point lead with 2.30 to go in this one. First down play from the Pistols going to be Shaq Van to the left side. He's actually going to end up losing, too. The Bulls call their first time out after that play. Eagles got to try and stay in field goal range to make this an eight-point game if they can't manage it first. They're going to give it back to Van, who goes to the outside, picks up a yard. Another timeout for the Bulls. Interesting decision coming up here for Charlie Batch. Do you throw it to try and ice this game with a first down, or do you take your field position where you're at and just kick the field goal to go up a touchdown and a two-point conversion? It's third and 11 from the 32. Just on the edge of field goal range are the Eagles. They're going to give it to Shaq Van on a draw, and he gets brought down for a loss of two. What a play there made by the defender for the Bulls, number 55. Not sure of his name. I apologize to that man, but what a play he just made. It's going to set up a 52-yard field goal for the Eagles. A slight wind left to right might help him out here for Ricano. The kick is up, it is left, and it's not coming back. It had the distance, but it just did not hook right. The wind was blowing that direction, but it just did not carry that football inside the goal post. And just when it looked like the Eagles got a big, huge swing from the fumble, the Buffalo Bulls just got a bigger one with that missed field goal. They take over now at their own 35 with 2.07 to go. No timeouts, needing a touchdown to win. First pass of the drive is going to be broken up. Dangerous throw there, almost intercepted even. I formation for the Bulls. Two wide receivers bunch to the left. It's actually going to be a handoff to Jordan Johnson. He's got nowhere to go. Brought down after maybe a yard. So it's going to bring up a third and nine. Obviously four down territory here for the Bulls. As they rush back to the line. Single back formation. Rohatch takes the snap. He's going to be sacked on the play. He's going to be brought down by Luke McLean. The outside linebacker coming in on a blitz. That brings up a 4th and 16 from their own 29-yard line. Rohatch takes a stab. He dumps it off underneath and nowhere to go for the Bulls. And the Eagles defense seals the deal on this one. What a comeback for the Eagles behind the backup quarterback, Todd Porter. It's victory formation time for Todd Porter and the Eagles. Believe it or not. This site did not seem possible at multiple points in this one, but the Eagles just kept clawing and clawing with Todd Porter at quarterback, and they managed to take the lead, and their defense managed to hold on for them. And with that, the Eagles will go 5-0 and for only the second time in school history, first time since 1989 when they last won the MAC championship. And speaking of MAC championships, they will start 2-0 and in MAC conference play. Two road wins back-to-back -back weeks at Ball State and at Buffalo. This one a little dicey, but with your backup quarterback, you'll take it. Great performance all around for the Eagles in consideration of that. The defense faltered multiple times, but they came up with stops at the end of the game when they were most needed. And look at that second half for the Eagles. They score 20 Three points to the Bulls, 14. We take a look at the player stats. How about Todd Porter? 12 for 18, 200 yards, no touchdowns, but no interceptions, 66 yard completions. He made plays when he had to. Didn't make any crucial mistakes. Shaq Van was the horse. He didn't do much, only averaged three yards on the ground with a long of 10, but he picked up yardage when needed and a couple of touchdowns. 
Todd Porter also had a nice touchdown run on the option, as did Ian Erickson on a triple option. Receiving, not a lot going on with Todd Porter in the game, but three catches, 94 yards for Sergio Bailey. He had some big ones. Johnny Neapalu was a safety net early on. Really helped Todd Porter get comfortable passing the ball. Defensively, two sacks for Adi Granger. He also had that big fumble recovery. Luke McLean had the sack that pretty much sealed the deal. Interceptions-wise, Jason Beck on the second drive of the game for the Buffalo offense looked like they might go down and make it 14 nothing real quick. Was able to intercept the football and set up the Eagles with their first points of the game. Kicking. Paul Fricano, 2 for 3. He missed a long 52-yarder, which would have made it an 8-point game, but nonetheless, the defense came through for him. He had a nice game. Sergio Bailey, 3 punt returns, 93 yards, including that 61-yarder, which set up the Eagles with their go-ahead touchdown to take their first lead, which they held on to. 15 to 15 in first downs, very even in that regard. 357 to 289, the Bulls outgain the Eagles on the ground and through the air on offense. Rushing, we see the Eagles ran it 37 times, 89 yards for four touchdowns. The Bulls ran it only 23 times, picked up 95 yards and three touchdowns. Eagles 12 for 19 through the air, no touchdowns. They had 200 yards passing. Bulls 18 for 24, 262 yards and a touchdown. Bulls were 3 for 8 on third, while the Eagles were 5 for 11. Bulls were 0 for 1 on fourth down. Two-point convergence, the Eagles were 0 for 1. Red zone, the Eagles made it six times, came in with four touchdowns, two field goals. The Bulls made it four times. All four times they walked away with six turnovers. Might have been the turning point. Once again, the Eagles don't turn the ball over. And the Bulls turn it over twice with one fumble, one interception. Punt return yards, 93-10. Eagles kick return, 132-82. Eagles total yards, actually, 514-449 in favor of the Eagles. Three punts for a 53.7-yard average for the Eagles. Three punts for only a 35.7-yard average for the Bulls. Both penalties on the day are towards the Bulls for only 10 yards. Time of possession, 2208-952. No total offense for the Buffalo Bulls. Definitely waits that one. We would have been remiss not to talk about the performance of the day, which had to have been Mason Shrek, the tight end, the senior tight end, fifth-year senior out of Medina, Ohio, for the Buffalo Bulls, 11 catches, 195 yards. He was tearing up the Eagles' secondary. And their quarterback, Rohatch, also had a nice game, but had that interception, which puts a blemish on his mark, and the Eagles... Go 5-0 and to start this season, 2-0 and in conference play. Finally ready to get back to Ryan Nearson Stadium after four straight games away, five weeks total away with the bye week tossed in. And there's also a bye week next week. So it will be six weeks before the Eagles finally return to Ryan Nearson Stadium where they will take on the Ohio Bobcats in their conference home opener of the year and try and get to 6-0. and So be sure to join us next time for the Eastern Michigan Eagles Dynasty.